My name's Debbie, I'm 34 and I work as a youth worker, um, also as a freelance performer and a casual cinema projectionist. When the Good Friday Agreement was signed, I was about seven years old. Um, so I've heard stories from my father about the troubles, but I didn't really witness anything directly myself. He used to work as a delivery driver um, and he had his own van and he told me the story about um, a time when he was in Derry and he had his van hijacked and stolen. We'd be flicking through family photos that had been developed and there would be things in the background that you would see and say, well, what's that or who's that? Or why is there somebody with a gun, you know? I think my childhood would have been different without the Good Friday Agreement um, in that I would have known um, much more of the differences between being Protestant and being Catholic and you know why you don't go to certain places. And I would have probably seen a lot more of the violence. I am concerned about the, the lack of funding from the EU, particularly the European Social Fund, because um, in youth work, a lot of our charities, organisations and community groups are funded by the European Social Fund. And now that that's all being pulled away, so many people are being made redundant. Another thing that worried me about leaving the EU was obviously the violence that kicked up a couple of years ago. Um, and the worrying thing was that it was a lot of young people. The funding from the EU really did allow our work to flourish because we are largely funded by European Social Fund, so that's um, not just the programmes but the staff as well. So the more the more staff we have, the more resources we have, the more people we can reach. And a huge part um, of the work that goes on in Northern Ireland, not just in the charity that I work for, but across the board is, you know, it doesn't matter what your background is, it's cross-community. Um, and very much integrating people. I think it is a good thing if, if young people are taking the Good Friday Agreement for granted because they deserve to have that level of um, ease in their day-to-day -day lives that people in other countries have, you know, that they don't have to think about, you know, looking over their shoulder. There's a, there's a warmth here that I think you don't necessarily find in other places. And I've spoken to so many people from different countries who are just amazed at how friendly people are. They almost don't trust it. My dad said that he can't believe the transformation in Belfast um, and that we wouldn't recognize it if we saw it back then in the 70s or the 80s. Um, my mother was English. She was um, born and raised in Portsmouth. And I remember whenever she was coming over to live here, her parents were quite worried for her and said, you know, please be careful. Are you sure about this? Slowly, people started to trickle in more and more over here for holidays. And then we got so much in the way of investment into tourism, you know, to build places like Titanic Belfast. And then, you know, the film industry really took off here as well. Game of Thrones, you know, there's a whole exhibition centre dedicated to that. There are tours that run every day. Um, it's as if the Good Friday Agreement sort of um, pulled a blanket off of Northern Ireland and people finally saw, oh, actually, there's a lot of potential there. Because we're celebrating 25 years of the Good Friday Agreement this mm -hmm. year. Huge progress, a lot more to go, but what are your hopes for Northern Ireland in the next 25 years? The next 25 years in Northern Ireland, I hope that there um, that there's much more integrated education. I hope that that is the norm. I hope that people look back and think, you had schools that were separate for Catholics and for Protestants, why? Um, I hope that, you know, tolerance increases. I hope that our tourism industry continues to boom and thrive. I hope that our arts uh, and culture scenes get the investment that they deserve. I hope that we are in the position that where we can um, host on a world stage a little bit more.